Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tyler Video for you, and um, finally get to show you some of the things I've been working on here for quite a while. Um, you may recall this is my uh, Bad Dudes cabinet that I got quite a while ago, and uh, when I got it, it was actually a Mortal Kombat. Um, I have not converted it back to Bad Dudes yet. I have a Bad Dudes board that I can play in it, and I found a Bad Dudes marquee that actually fits in it. This this cabinet's a little unique, and I've talked about it in another video, so I'm not going to talk too about too long about it, but. Pretty much every bad dude you see out there is a 25, uh, is a 19-inch monitor. This is a 25, and on a 19-inch the marquee is curved. Well, this is a curved marquee, but it's flattened out and stuck in the in this cabinet. Um, so yeah, if you take off this control panel overlay that's on here, it's just a piece of metal. You'll see the bad dude's control panel underneath it. But um, so there's a lot to get this thing back to a bad dude's. But uh, and I'm going to actually restore this cabinet to looking like a bad dude's. So I could put the Bad Dudes game in it. I even got the side art to go on it. There's some new old stock side art there. And that goes right here on the side. Um, and there's that. You can see the outline where it was originally right here. There's actually a, you can see a fade mark. I don't know if you guys see it on camera. See that circular thing right there? So this needs to go right there. Okay, so that's that. So you're seeing a different game running on this. And this is called Taito's Gladiator. And I'm just going to put this in the um, stand right now. So it's not so wiggly. Just want to show you a little bit of the outside. Okay, let's move this over on this side. A little less glare. Let me move it back a little bit. This, cam uh, this flip camera is so terrible for these kind of things. I wish I had gotten something different when I got this, but can't change that now okay so there good enough so you can see it so what's in this cabinet is this um, here's the there's a remote controller you see right here and there's a six in one switcher in here so um, right now it's on gladiator if I hit a button on it it'll switch games now I've got Taito's Rastan if I hit another switch if I hit number three You will see in a moment. This is Taito's Kladash. Uh, Another very awesome game. Hit it again. We've got Capcom's Black Tiger. Hit it again. And we've got Ghouls and Ghosts. And the last game that's in there, wait for it to boot up, Ghosts and Goblins. So let's go back to one of my favorite games, Rastan. So, just plays like regular. Terribly.
now. <laughs> oh, you gotta keep moving forward in this game. You just can't get caught up in anything. I normally can make it through the whole level level without dying. So that's enough of this game. Um, I'll show you. Why don't I show you a little bit of a gladiator? I don't know if I've showed you this game before. Gotta clean it up. The vine turned down, so I need to turn the volume up. Enough of that in general. Let's um, let's show you how this is working on the inside because that's really what I want to show you. So I'm bring this. I think I bring the stand around. Okay. Okay. There's the back of the game. Get a little more light in here. Enough. Can you turn this off? Okay. okay, so you're looking at the inside here. You see there's quite a bit going on. And so I want to show you because this is actually probably the most interesting part of it. Okay. So in here I've got all the jam boards. Well, all of them are almost all of them are JAMA boards in here. Um, so I'm going to unplug it. It's a lot easier to take this thing apart than just to put it back together again on a video. So, um, so we're going to just take these out. I'm just disconnecting the, the JAMA cables here. This one I have to unhook like this. And then here's the harness for the cabinet. And this is the thing that, that's making the whole thing run. This is the, uh, let me see, can you see that? I can hold it in such a way you can see it. This is a six-in-one switcher. And uh, I got this um, online from China. And um, actually, it's, it's probably Hong Kong, I think. Well, that is China. And um, it's got all these JAMA connectors in it. And what most people try to do is put their games directly into this. But with these boards that are double-layered, it's really difficult and then it's really hard to fit it into the cabinet. So um, I've got a bunch of JAMA harnesses that are plugged into this, um, extension harnesses. And uh, let me talk about those a little bit quickly. So I'm going to disconnect these. So now it is, there's the board as you get it. And you see I've modified this as well. I've I added an, um, a ground mod as well as a service menu mod and um, minus 5 volt mod on this thing um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff underneath I, I'll probably show that as a separate video because it's too much to talk about right now okay so here's a bunch of the jam extension harnesses that I have here and um, I'm just going to give you a little um, just talk a little bit about what I did here 
So when you get these things, there's two kinds you can get. Well, there's a bunch you can get, but um, I got some from jamaboards.com. And they're, they're, those are ones that made in China. They're $15 each. And um, I don't know if they're worth the $15 because when you get them, the, while the wires look like they're heavier gauge, inside they're, they're like such a... They're like less than 24 gauge um, thickness. Um, so they're very fine wires. And so some of the games didn't work um, because the power wasn't enough getting through the wire. So um, what I've done in these is I've added... Uh, my own power additions on these things. Um, I've replaced the power lines on it. And if, on a JAMA harness, you'll see them there on this end. You've got your your ground, your plus 5 volt, your minus 5 volt, and your plus 12 volt. And uh, I've replaced them with heavy gauge wire. Normally, each one of these would have, there'd be four wires on the ground, four wires on the plus 5 volt, um, two on the minus 5 volt, and two on the plus 12 volt. And uh, I've replaced them just with heavy gauge uh, single wires in this one. Another one I've replaced it. I've done different things. This I was experimenting is what I needed. I mean, I'm using 14 gauge wire um, in this case, or 12, depending. Um, so it's like here I've got two on the ground and then one on everything else. But really, the best thing you can do is either make your own extension harness or buy one of these. This is from Bob Roberts. And uh, if you want to find his website, it's the, it's the real Bob Roberts. Uh, search that on Google. I, I don't know if it's be, the real Bob Roberts .net or something like that, but um, his are really well made. And you'll see here you've got four on the ground, four on the on the minus five volt, two. I mean on the plus five volt, two on the minus five volt, two on the tw minus the plus twelve volt. So this is uh, this harness is great. Um, so there's that. Um, but this is like thirty five bucks for this one here, and. Uh, I think if I were to do this again, I would just make my own, just because it's it's inexpensive to make your own. It's just getting all the wires. This is well made. Um, I ended up pretty much making my own with these here, so these are all been hacked and modified a bunch of times. So that's it on that. And I'm just going to show you how. Let's see. I want to get this camera so you can see inside the camera a little better. Oh, do do do. Okay, so then it was, the difficulty was getting these boards um, into the cabinet so that they weren't clashing with each other. So what I did here is, I've, you've probably seen in other videos, how I've mounted my p game PCBs on cutting boards from Walmart because it just kind of protects them a little bit so they're not bashing around. So here's the Gladiator one, and you see this one I made a JAMA adapter for it because it's not a JAMA board. And then you see here, See these notches that I've cut in this shelf that I've made, and I just used a, I just um, used my router. And it's kind of messy. You can see that it was bouncing around a little bit in there. Um, it was hard to control it um, on this piece of plywood for some reason. I just kept bouncing. I, it would really been better if you had a router, if I had a router table to do it on. But for what I was doing, I just had to make sure that the the side on the left was actually a straight line, and that's where I had screwed a piece of wood down as my guide. So when I cut this, I used a, a tall piece of wood so that I had a, a gap because otherwise I would have cut right through with my router bit. So here's all the games in here. Just take them all out. You see how easy it is to take them out? So I can change them easily. See that one right there, the last one there. It went crazy. <laughs> it was the first one I did. And I wasn't anticipating it jumping off like that. So you can see right there. It just went. Meow. But this is the side that needs to be straight. Uh, right here. And that's straight. Even though this goes off crazy. The the pressure is this way on the on the um, the shelf. And you see also I've got a PC fan in there. And I was using a hole cutting saw. And man, my hole cutting saw um, with my drill, the battery is nearly dead. So I ended up just using my uh, my uh, scroll saw and just kind of rough cut it out. So this this board's kind of roughly done, but it's, it's sufficient to do what I needed it to do. And you just flip it up and you see the original power supply in there. And I just used some real short screws there to mount these uh, angle brackets so that I'm not... I mean, this thing's got holes all on the inside from every board that's been mounting this thing through its lifetime. And, uh, and this is just tapped into the... Uh, plus 12 volt. You can quite see it in there, but it's just right in there. Let's see. 
power supply right there. So I just put on some uh, spade connectors, not spade connectors, but those uh, connectors that just go in there. So that it's, that's it, guys, there on that. Um, I'm going to have to put it all back together again. But, uh, yeah, so you can see pretty much how I got that mounted in there. And um, the only thing left to do on this, really, is to put that side art on it, clean it up a little bit more. I'd love to find a 27-inch, uh, 27, 25-inch uh, Bad Dudes control panel overlay so I could fix the control panel. Um, but uh, that's probably pretty hard to find as this cabinet itself is pretty rare. rare. The last thing I want to do is I want to uh, put a new cap cap kit in, replace the flyback on this uh, K7000 monitor. As you can see, it's got the white knobs on the uh, flyback. And uh, the picture on it is kind of getting kind of well, flaky. It's I can't really adjust it out, but um, you know, it's it's the image is wider on the edges than it is in the center, and it's also stretched out at the top. Um, so that's definitely a fly. There's definitely a flyback issue in there, as well as it could use a cap kit. This has not had any work done on it. This is just as I picked it up a few years ago. So um, I got the cap kit. Just gonna put it in, and uh, that's it on that. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have some more videos for you. Um, I'm going to definitely be working on the Virtual Boy some more. I kind of put that on the side while I did this. Um, but now that this is done, um, I can work on that, concentrate on that some more. And I still want to work on my uh, baby Pac-Man. But yeah, so I didn't want to keep this video too long. I, so I did the gameplay at the beginning because otherwise I have to put it all back together again. So I could do this all in one take. And uh, Oh, one other thing is, uh, so what I'm calling this cabinet now is my multi-slayer cabinet. Because all, all these games are essentially like slayer, dungeon crawler kind of games try to do games of all the same genre. Of course, I could put other games in here, too, because it's all JAMA, and it uses these, uh, and using the cutting board, so I can easily swap games in and out on this. So, that's it, guys, and thanks for watching.